Welcome back. More than 100 animals are looking for their forever homes. The Bradshaw Animal Shelter is working to pair pets with families. KCRA 3's Aaron Heft shows us the crowds looking for a new buddy and what you can do if you want a pet. Good luck, okay? All right. Thank you. All right, thank you for adopting. Family. Appreciate it. You ready, buddy? He made his Christmas. He's a fan favorite. Just happened to go on the site and saw Roscoe, and I was like, oh, he's a cutie. New best friends. Hey. Courtney says Roscoe stole her heart. Being in the shelter since September, it's time he made his way home to their family. Okay, you ready, bud? Come on. He's big. One after another. Today is our big holiday adoption event. It, we're calling it Miracle on Bradshaw Road because we're hoping for a miracle for all of the pets at our shelter. Nearly 40 cats and 80 dogs, all up for adoption. Hello. Lines actually out the door as the Bradshaw Animal Shelter paired families together based on personalities, family dynamic, age, and so much more. Because they say when selecting a pet, it's important to realize they're a new member of your family. It's something Lily and Isaiah Lee have been hoping for for a while. There are dogs in all of these habitats. Mm -hmm. As you walk down, I'm going to show you where to go to next. Mm -hmm. Probably because it's just us a lot. And it's lonely with just us and it's, yeah, it's quiet. Are you the one? Are you the one for us? Strolling through the many sweet faces up for adoption. <laughs> Extending their hours and waiving fees. It's the hope these faces find their forever homes by the holidays. In Sacramento, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News. Well, if you are looking to adopt, the shelter's adoption event goes until 7 o'clock tonight. More than 700 families got out to pick free gifts for their kids today. The Voice of the Youth hosted its annual gift giveaway. Organizers say the goal is to give out more than 4,000 gifts to families in need. Over the last few weeks, volunteers collected donations and even went shopping for the hottest toys of the season. Today's event was a chance for parents to come and pick out the gifts without the kids there. Organizers say it gives parents who are struggling financially the chance to be able to surprise their kids for the holidays. Imagine the relief for so many of these families when they don't have to no longer say bills or yep. gifts. Yep. They can say bills and gift and maybe something for myself. Right. That's the type of impact we want to make. It's kind of awesome to have a backup when so you know your kids are going to have what they deserve on Christmas, whether you're fighting to pay bills or have that extra to be able to put towards presents. It's such a great resource for the community. The families were pre-selected. The Voice of Youth organizers say if you are looking to make a donation or if you would like to volunteer with the program, you can visit them online at voiceofyouth.org. An Oroville nonprofit collected hundreds of toys for sick children. Basic Hope United Incorporated hosted a toy drive this weekend to benefit the Shriners Children's Hospital in Sacramento. Look at that. The group collected 680 toys and raised $500 for the hospital too. Founder Brett Brashears sent us these photos and video of the event. Those who donated a toy also got a chance to meet with local first responders and take a photo with the man of the hour, Santa Claus. Spreading more holiday cheer tonight, the Woodland Police Department is making sure families in need have gifts this Christmas. The department teamed up with the Sacramento Sheriff's Activities League and the Sparkle Foundation to pass out gifts to local families just in time for the holidays. Today there was a mural unveiled at a special place for children in the capital city. Take a look. This was a scene at Safetyville USA on Bradshaw Road. The mural was sponsored by the Arnold Law Firm and Safety Center. Artist Demetrius Bammer Washington has painted more than 90 murals across the state and says this two part mural symbolizes safety, justice and freedom in the community. One part depicts Lady Justice and the other is a superhero image guiding children through the important safety skills. The more we can teach our kids, um, you know, how to be safe, how to interact uh, with their community members and, and the public, um, it's super important. The Safety Center is a popular place for school tours. It's built like many city where children learn skills like fire safety, how to cross the road properly and even stranger danger. Right now, active weather moving in across our region, and it is here. Some areas have already started to see some of that rain. This is video from Tiscornia Park at the confluence of the Sacramento and American Rivers in Sacramento. You can see some raindrops definitely coming down on the water. 
And look at that, some sea lions sticking their heads out to check out the wet weather too. Here's meteorologist Dirk Vidoran with where this system is now and where it's headed next, Dirk. Yeah, we're looking at this system that's going to stick around for a while because we have just these, these bands of rain that are going to be with us. Now we'll have some breaks in between, but we have a steady flow of these showers working their way across our region right now. Heaviest rain, Modesto. We're seeing some heavier rain there. You know that if you're there in Modesto. Stockton has been seeing some showers, some of the heavier rain now moving off toward the east. We're seeing these rain showers all the way up into the north end of the valley and through the foothills and on into the Sierra here from uh, Butte County moving into Plumas County is where we've been seeing some of that heaviest rainfall right now. So what can we expect as we get into Monday? It's going to be an impact day and the reason why is because we're expecting some wet roadways. Now the good news is, is I think between six and eight o'clock. I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of rain. Yeah, the roads may be wet, but that's going to pick up after eight o'clock in the morning. Winds, we are going to see periods of winds starting tonight, but we'll see those winds through tomorrow and even on into Tuesday, we're going to wind speeds 15 to 25 miles per hour, and there is the possibility of some thunderstorms, and we've seen some thunderstorms already today. Right now, taking a look outside, live look from our downtown Sacramento Sky Camera. Temperatures relatively mild. We're in the low 50s in Sacramento, Stockton, and Modesto. Lake Tahoe above freezing there at 38 degrees. Winds not too bad. We do have a downslope wind in Auburn currently from the east at 21 miles per hour. 16 mile an hour wind currently in Placerville, 15 in Fairfield, and that's where we're seeing some of the stronger winds. Let's go ahead and take a look at the timing, though, of the winds as we progress through tonight. Here we are 10 PM. A bit of a north wind is expected. We're looking at wind speeds anywhere from 15 to over 20 miles per hour in through the Sacramento Valley and on into Solano County. Those will taper off and then we see a shift in the winds as we make our way through Monday. And this is Monday afternoon at 2 PM. More of a south to southeast wind is blowing up through the San Joaquin Valley. So it's kind of the opposite. And you can see those winds upwards of between 20 to 25 miles per hour in Stockton and Modesto. So you're going to notice those winds in through the northern San Joaquin Valley. Then they kind of spread themselves out as as we go through Monday night. Here we are 930 and we can see those wind speeds again between 15 to 25 miles per hour up and down the valley, and that means gusts are going to be between 30 to 40 miles per hour. Still saying gusty on into Tuesday. This is Tuesday afternoon with those southerly winds and they finally die down by Tuesday night. Weather system.